ตาตองตาเมตตาตองมาเกียรติองค์ตาเจ้าเจ้าเราทุกข์ทุกข์ทุกข์ทุกข์ทุกข์ทุกข์ทุกข์ทุกข์ทุกข์ทุกข์ท
So in order to uh, practice on the stages of the three steps of the path, the three stages of the path. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, when it comes to the great scopes practitioner, the practitioner of the great scopes, whose aim is to gain complete state of complete state of enlightenment for the benefit of all of the sentient beings. So such individual is primarily, you know, uh, committed him or herself to working for the welfare of all of the sentient beings. In order to engage in such a uh, working for the welfare of other sentient beings, it is important for one to achieve state of enlightenment. It is therefore, may I gain the state of enlightenment for the benefit of other sentient beings. The priority is to working for the welfare of other sentient beings and to gain this, and the next is to achieve state of enlightenment. <clears throat> so now, here again, uh, whether we are actually becoming oneself a Buddhist practitioner or not, it is entirely depends upon whether you have taken refuge in changes properly, in other words. And so, <clears throat> So when speaking of taking refuge in Chijos, it's not simply that we are verbalizing I take refuge in Buddha, Dhamma, and Sangha. We need to internalize what is meant by Buddha, what is meant by Dhamma, what is meant by Sangha, to whom you are taking refuge in, to whom you take refuge in, what object of those refuge are, and why you are taking refuge, uh, refuge in those three jobs, and so forth. So here, when speaking about taking refuge in Chijos, there are also differences depending upon uh, what kind of Practitioner, the scope of practitioner that you belong to. So that when it comes to the, uh, the first practitioner, which is the initial practitioners, the, uh, the small scope practitioners, uh, their aim is to take refuge in change of, from the depth of one's, uh, the, from, from the depth of their hearts to the changes to free themselves from lorems, taking rid of the lorems, but mainly focusing on the suffering of lorems. And having a genuine desire to free him or herself from the lorems. So when it comes to the second scope, which is the middle scope of practitioners, is <clears throat> not only taking refuge in teachers to protect oneself from uh, or to free oneself from this taking river within the lorems, but also uh, take uh, in the free oneself from second existence, 
or the samsaric existence. And then, well, finally, when it comes to the great scopes, and once purpose of checking reflection change orders, it's not only just to free oneself from this second existence, but also having a genuine desire or wish to achieve complete state of enlightenment for the benefit of all other such beings. So therefore, uh, when we take refuge in change orders, we should understand uh, one's way of way in which that we take refuge in change orders as it differs in accordance with one, one's own mental capacities or the inclinations. <coughs> ナタテリ、今日は誰が来るでしょうな。あの、あれとこ。ペンバ、ロンテンチケケ。ドダセグロワ、ペンバ。ペンバチググエンシェ。おお、タテグチュデ。あの、ソンジュコンショウセアチ
in fact, a uh, very you know, critical condition, some of those are critical conditions due to sudden sickness, such as maybe suffering from an intense headache or maybe other part of the body or suffering from stomach ache and so forth. So when such individual is undergoing suffering from sickness, the first well, first thing that individual will seek is to seek a physician or the perfect physician or the uh, or the authentic physicians who can treat us. So this physician is analogous to the Buddha who actually instructs us from how do we really get rid of all the negative thoughts and emotions or our our sufferings. So which in our so the physician analogous to the Buddha, well, the dual Buddha. And so here now, when I'm saying the physician, analogous to the Buddha, that doesn't mean that I'm saying the physician is Buddha. This is not what I'm talking about here. It is just an example or the metaphor. <clears throat> so just as we approach our physicians and receiving all those instructions given by the physicians, and then we take the medicine, which will then liberate ourselves from physical sickness, right? Similarly, when we take refuge in Buddha, Buddha actually propounds us the teachings how we can venture ourselves on the spiritual path. The venture on the spiritual path is mainly to overcome our suffering which another is to medicine. Just by having, uh, by approaching uh, you know, a physician wrong will not alleviate our sufferings. Similarly, just taking refuge in Buddha will not alleviate our sufferings. But whatever the teaching that is given by the Buddha must be practiced. It is through this one will be able to free oneself from the sufferings and so on. So then, <clears throat> there is another part analogous to this new <coughs> point, which is the Jyot Sangha. The Jyot Sangha is who actually assist us on the spiritual path, who accompany us on our spiritual path, our spiritual development. Similarly, as a, uh, the, the, uh, the nurses or the assistants who actually assist us from you know, when one is undergoing sicknesses and suffering from sicknesses, who not just giving you, uh, just keeping an eye, keeping an eye on you, but also giving you the physical assistance and so on and so forth. So those are the examples or the analogies that is given when we are giving the teaching to the fourth part, the uh, taking revision teachers. So <clears throat> the, all, of, all of this revision teachers, the actual refuge is said to be the Dharma. Dharma merely referring to the path and the cessation. Uh, by engaging in the spiritual practice, one uh, cultivates the spiritual path, which enables one to achieve complete state of beyond sorrow in other words. We, we will, it will lead oneself to beyond sorrow, which is the cessation from suffering. So therefore, uh, here again, uh, the Buddha is someone who actually freed both the defilements, the def intellectual defilements or the innate defilements have been uh, eliminated and then become a complete state of Buddha. This is what is meant by which of Buddha. This is the quality or the attributes of the Buddha that possess. And similarly, the, uh, the Dharma is all the teachings that are given by the Buddha is practiced by oneself, then applying an antidote towards all those negative thoughts and emotions. And a very dharma that uh, very hard that is accumulated by oneself, what that is uh, cultivated by oneself instead of the dharma, the actual dharma. And by means of such preparation of this dharma, will then eventually lead oneself to the cessation from the suffering. And both cessation and the, uh, and the part that leads to cessation seem to be the actual object of refuge or actual refuge to whom we take refuge. And then also the Ganon, 
uh, which is the Jewel uh, Sangha. It's not referring to an ordinary Sangha, but we're referring to Jewel Sangha, who has who, uh, who gained this path, the highest path, who become a noble being, so who actually become superior beings. Uh, Sangha, which refers to someone who became superior beings. Those are the three kind of uh, object of refuge to whom we take refuge. ตาเจ้าเนาะสิจูเรตุจิบิโลตะกุเรเซเรวาโยสะเดกายคอนโทรลสงโลเจเนเจมบุเดเดควาลิจิเนเจมบุเชมบุเดรอเนควาลมาติ
And as such individuals has a tremendous pressure and uh, fear by uh, fear of losing his or her life. In which case, he will do whatever he can to the fullest extent of his ability to find as some high officials or someone who has a very uh, influential politics, uh, political uh, politicians, and so on and so forth. Look for as someone who can really protect him from these executions. And this is from the depth of his heart. Is there anyone who can protect me from this fear, this execution, and so on and so forth? This is uh, to the same degree of uh, of the uh, of the motivations of seeking protection from such fear must be exist must uh, must be possessed by someone who is taking refuge in three jobs. Don't <laughs> Dignipon, <laughs> Sanjian 
जवान जो क्या दो ही जो दो में सीखें दो में में जो दो में पूरी तो में सी लोग तो कॉलो पर जो चांस हम लोग लेकिन सेंचे ने तो ताली सेंचे तो आज दो में तो चावल तो दाग जा दाल तेता भी निकाल में तो निकाल सो लाये ना यहाँ तो तो दूर सांझे लंदू इन सांझे जो कपाल तो तो नहीं सेंचे सेंचे जितने सेंचे सांझे जो है लेटी चलो सांझी को बहुत हो बंद भी लगता है तो ये बात ना तो ना तो जिन को सेंचे पाने जिन तो जो आधा जो भी चांस चुन दे सेंचे पाते जिन के तो है ना जिन के तो है इस तरह का एक पता ना जिन ने मैंने भी ना जी लावा से सेंचे को तो जाके भी गोदे दे लेते हैं सेंचे दुनिया ले अन्य स यहाँ तो तो दो जान लगे कि लोग जान जो तो बंदे बीस कर रहे हैं यहाँ तो दो जान लगे कि यहाँ तो दो जान लगे कि यहाँ तो मैंने भी ना दी थे यहाँ तो ने मैंने भी ना दी वास्ते सेंट जेंग तो जान ना दी इन्हें तेज तो यहाँ तो लोग जो दबे जान जो तो तो नहीं इन्हें सेंट जेंग सांझी सां तारीन चुने के चेना जी तारीन तो हमारे कदी है ना माने चीज मातू माते हैं ना सेंचियां तो आजी दुनिया तक चलाते ताकि क्या तेरी निबंग नाला में तो ना तो बादू भी सांझ जी तो ना सांझ जी जब कपान तो थोड़ी सेंचियां जो तो चेकी सांस सांस चेनी ना दूर से चेने चीजें के ना माने चीज नहीं चे� So as we talk about this importance of understanding how to take refuge in three jewels areas, now let's uh, focus primarily on the taking refuge in three jewels based on the, uh, the, the you know, great scopes, practicing of the great scopes, which is which uh, primarily focuses on the practicing and generation of body channel. <clears throat> so how do we practice, how do we, you know, uh, venture ourselves on the path or the process of, of engaging in the practice of cultivation of body channel or the altruistic intention is now, first of all, in order to engage in practice of body channel, first of all, one, uh, one needs to think about how kind all sentient beings are by focusing on the kindness of all of the sentient beings are whether they are kind in being one's, uh, one's parents or mother or whether they are kind in providing us whatever the necessary that is needed for us if you think about the mother or if you think about the kindness in terms of mother then just think about how one's present mother, how current mother is so kind to oneself. So too, all other sense of beings in the past that has been very kind to us from the beginning of this time up until now. Even though that one may not be able to focus one's mind on all sense of beings as one's own mother, but think about everything that we have right now, such as one's you know, prosperity, our, our worldly needs, clothing, clothing, shelters, and so on and so forth. Everything that is uh, that acquired by the, uh, through the kindness or the reliance upon all other social beings. There's nothing that we have acquired without depending on the others. Which is, uh, if we really think very carefully about that, we will really come to realize that everything that we have is nothing but due to the kindness and the reliance upon all other social beings. So this is how we should begin to think about, how we should begin to, you know, lay the foundation of cultivating body checkers. So therefore now, if you really think about one's life, which is beginningless, when you focus your, one's mind on the beginningless of one's life, then we will not find even a single sentient being who has not been one's own mother. So this is how we should, uh, this is 
how we should think of focus one's mind or the, uh, pay attention to how kind those how kind of organization beings are to oneself. So, <clears throat> so now with this in mind, now think about how sentient beings are not going to suffer. Although they long to achieve happiness, but they lack how to engage in and, uh, and deeds which enables them to accumulate costs that give rise to happiness. In fact, they are running out of suffering in other words. Without knowing what is to be abandoned and what is to be adopted. Having an erroneous way of understanding what is to be adopted and what is to be what is to be abandoned, the sentient beings are trapped within this prison of sacred existence, not being able to free themselves from sacred existence. So now, how do I really free all the sentient beings? How do I really repay their kind? An actual repaying of their kindness is to, to actually free them, free all sentient beings from the sacred existence, the suffering nature of sacred existence. If this is possible, that uh, if, it, if it is possible for me to free all sentient beings at this point, but when, when we examine ourselves, we do not have this capacity to really to free all sentient beings from the sacred existence. Then who has this power or capacity? Or uh, you know, uh, to the force where all sentient beings can, you know, where all uh, all certain sentient beings to free from the sacred existence is the Buddha, who again the complete state of enlightenment. Only the Buddha has this attributes or the qualities of freeing all sentient beings from some uh, from some sort of sacred existence. So therefore, I must, you know, uh, Engage in practice to gain a complete state of complete state of enlightenment for the benefit of all other sentient beings. If one is able to achieve complete state of enlightenment, then one can manifest one's body in a very multiple form of manifestation can be manifested, which can be helpful and beneficial can be working for the one for all other sentient beings. Similarly, the activities of the Buddha's speech, if one is able to gain this quality of Buddha, uh, gain a state of, uh, complete state of uh, Buddhahood, one will then be able to uh, give the teachings of the Dharma to all sentient beings. You know, doesn't need any interpreters. Just by speaking one word can be understood by so whatever this uh, it's a spoken language of, of the category or the social that belongs that individual belongs to, everyone can understand that uh, what the Buddha has spoken. It is the exclusive qualities of the someone who came from the state of enlightenment. So this is how we can free all sentient beings from sufferings. We can enable sentient beings to engage in the actions which becomes a cause, cause and condition for achieving a state of complete enlightenment. This is how the, uh, the teachings that uh, one can uh, expound how to, uh, you know, how the sentient beings can engage in the practice and understanding, proper, having a proper understanding of what is to be abandoned and what is to be adapted. So, so it is therefore May I achieve complete state of enlightenment from the depth of one's heart for the benefit of all other sentient beings. And if one has such motivations, then this motivation is said to be the motivation of you know ultimate altruism, or which is also known as awakening mind or the body chatter. Because you are Completely focusing on the wealth of other sentient beings. Your, your purpose of gaining state of enlightenment is to leading entire sentient beings to the state, complete state of enlightenment. And for the purpose of all other sentient beings. Here, the, for the purpose of other sentient beings, the purpose you're referring to, 
the, uh, the normal operating nirvana that is to be achieved by the sentient beings in the future. Mm. So this is the focal object of the bodhisattvas. So, so it is therefore, if you look at the standard uh, uh, the definition of the bodhicitta, it's said, said to be uh, for the purpose of focusing one's mind on the complete enlightened state for the benefit of all other sentient beings. The focusing on the other's complete enlightenment, here referring to us again, the non-abiding nirvana, which is the beyond soul, which is referring to the complete state of enlightenment. So if if one is able to have such motivations, whatever the practice one may undertake, whether one is practicing uh, the stages of the path, the enlightenment, or even just receiving the teachings, even when one is reciting the six syllable mantra, someone if if one's engaging in such practice of even reciting the mantra is motivated by bodhicitta, will then become one will then become a, a practitioner of great scopes. One belongs to the category of of, of the minor uh, my minor practitioners. ตาเนี่ยเสียงที่ทอดีจิตตัวสอนดีกว่าคนทั้งเดียร์แค่เดียวเนาะตัวสอนดีกว่าทั้งทุกวันดีเวลาเดียร์คนละเมฆเงี้
So earlier we talked about this uh, importance of cultivated potentials. When it comes to the cultivated potential, we're talking about uh, the motivation that may again sit up completely enlightenment for the benefit of all of the sets of beings. So your motivation is to establish an entire sense of the being to the state of complete enlightenment. That is one's motivation. There's no certain time frame which is in accordance with the perfection sutras, uh, with, uh, in accordance with the tradition of perfection sutra. So now, not only that, if one is engaging in the practice of the Pratyayana, if one is the Pratyayana practitioner, or particularly Malaminyam, which is the highest of the tantra, the practitioner's highest of tantra, which is to say that if one is a proper or authentic practitioner <coughs> of the high of a tantra, one will be able to achieve enlightenment within this brief lifetime, within one single lifetime, we are referring to within the framework of 100 years. This is our, you know, uh, the limits of our, our life, the sessions of life. So, <clears throat> so now, here, now, if I were to wait for to gain state of enlightenment in accordance with the sutra system, we don't know how long it's going to take for me to gain the state of enlightenment. Eons and eons. It may take eons and eons for me to achieve complete enlightenment. So, in that time period, it is so unbearable for me to think about how beings are undergoing suffering within the sacred existence. Think about the human beings whom we are interacting at this time. They are numerous in human beings. Even think about this human uh, existence or the planet Earth itself. There are numerous in human beings. And then, then think about then expanding one's, uh, you know, for, you think of other, you know, uh, universal systems such as four continents and four continent, continent continents and so on and so forth. There are hundreds and billions of universal systems which has existed. We would not be able to, uh, you know, uh, have even an assumption of how many beings who are actually exist within this universal system. Even just think about. The, uh, on this planet Earth, think about the human beings and also to think about other animals in the animal world, such as insects and so on and so forth. Those are innumerable. We cannot, we can, it is not possible for us to remember all of these beings. And not only now they are existing in this, uh, this planet Earth, but how much suffering we are undergoing. Think about the intensity of the suffering we are undergoing. If I were to wait until I gain the state of enlightenment, let's think about even from now, then all these beings are undergoing a sustained period of suffering, a tremendous amount of suffering. So it is therefore, may I engage in the practice of the Vajrayana so that I can gain the state of complete enlightenment as swift as possible for the benefit of all the essential beings. If you're able to have this kind of motivations, that is the, of what we call motivation uh, of bodhicitta in conjunction with the practice of Vajrayana, Vajrayana Vedo. <coughs> so therefore, with these motivations, the actual teaching that we will be receiving today is the age versus turning the mind or the lojong sikyama. That's why the lojong sikyama is so important. 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 Kadam Palakati, and Gishilan Tapasikande, Lantong Manapasigari. 
ดิกิลอดทับเกเพชเนเกมุกายาเซอานุปิชนิยสุบดูนอปิชบูจิเตนิเตเตลาทองมะนาปาเซเปดูนอปิจิเตนิเคเตดูนอปิเดเซเกอ
particularly the, uh, the third line of this verse, which surpasses even the wishful three generals. It is said that if one is, it is very extremely rare to find such a wishful three generals. If one is managed to hold of, uh, if one is able to manage hold of this wish fulfilling jam, if one suffocates in the presence of this wish fulfilling jam, one's wishes will be fulfilled. That is what is what he said. But I'm not very sure such wish fulfilling jam is an exit for myself. I'm not, maybe you have an idea that you may know where such wish fulfilling jam can be occur in myself. But I myself, I really have no idea such. Which which will fulfill the gap is existed or not? Why in their presence, uh, you know, suffocating to that, you know, will be fulfill your wishes and so forth. Da, again, no put again there. Da, who will tell the Jenna again? Nobody is up at again, no put a cabot in the shadow. They can talk to keep on the shadow. The cabot, the man, and the other day, and the police to the bed. No book is there, and the cabot is there to seduce the genie. Or go to cabot the mana, need to be a man, but keep on the other day, and cabot is there to do us. So for me now, wishful for the genie is our cell phone. Everyone needs his wishful for the cell phone. Without the cell phone, it is, it is not possible for us to survive. Look at the kids, they are sleeping with this uh, cell phone and waking up with cell phones, and the cell phone is actually. Drag it to their ears and so forth. So this is the way for the jam for me. That not to so tongue blue be said, Danya currently met a king, he had a somewhat top by each other, she was done by she was. And then she was not cutting in a tear, cutting in a hundred centuries, not to do, not to so tongue blue be said. And then, Sanjay Tantili, Ronnie Bet, Mepa, but Dubana, but you're Ronnie Bet, told you what you go with you, Ronnie. And then, Donnie Tantili, Mepa, that's it, told you what you're going to be with that. And then, Yella, somebody talk about you, told you about Sanjay, Yemba, but you're not men on the one on you, and the thought to keep on there, but you always say, Yella, somebody talk about you, and then go on, and then. So the second verse, so we read, Whenever I interact with someone, may I view myself as a lost and more, and from the very depth of my heart, respectfully, all others as superior. So this suggests that Whenever we interact or whenever we associate with whether it is a social level or any categories, we should always look at ourselves as the laws among all among all other, all other peoples. Not only just as on the surface, but on the depth of one's heart. And then respectfully call others as a superior. So never look at oneself as a superior than others, but rather we should reverse this our attitude of looking oneself as a superior uh, when, and others as a lawyer than oneself. But rather we need to it this particular verse actually challenges us to reverse our attitude. <clears throat> That carries over the sun, and then, uh, did you know, Sharon, God, wrong, did you know, did you know, wrong, you know, and carries it on Tochi, you move to my daughter, wrong, you know, by second, you move to some day, and then, uh, Tochi, you move to my daughter, wrong, you know, tiny, wrong, you know, you move to some day, you move to Duna, and you move to my tiny. And you want to cut it near with any. Dagger, my room, but you can't there. Poor dear, can't you move to soon the end with the end of Dagger, my room, no more to soon the cave by years on, and cut to near with any, cut to near with any. That was good to go by shoes, but 
So the third verse here we read, In all my deeds may I probe into my mind, and as soon as the mental and emotional reflection arrives, and they endanger myself and others, may I strongly confirm them in a word. So this, the point being made here is to the we should always remain alert. What kind of attitude that we have? And being able to detect as soon as the negative thoughts and emotion that arises within what's continue. Because it is our reflections, our negative impulses that really endanger oneself and others. So negative impulses here referring to the three poisons of our mind, three poisons of our, three poisons of our mind. So as soon as you detect that three poisons of our mind is taking place within one's continuum, one should confront them and avert them immediately. Don't let this roam freely within one's heart and do not embrace it, in fact. <clears throat> ถ้าเราเนี่ยเป็นเสียงเนี่ยดิตุตอกเนี่ยตัวเสียงเสียงตัดเสียงปกติเนี่ยปกติจริงจริงอยู่นะเนี่ยนิมูตุสุกินนั
one's reaction should not be in accordance with other people. No. For instance, whether they are wrongly abused or uh, wrongly with abuse or slander or scorn, or even you know uh, punished and so forth, one should always check up on just one side the defeat and offer a victory to others. Tatene Dala Jaja Todo Shikola Tomas Dala Seate Tagi Ma Dala Tiju, you see all the top of Dala Majan and Duce Sumeta Rete and then Dala Jaja Sadu Tanda Diki Nuzi Tate, you see all the top of Colonel Rete, but Tanala Nato Dala and then Yanga Todo Chen is she put and let you know, and then to cut the wrong in there. So this is how the Nishinari Baba has uh, stated that when others out of jealousy treat me wrong with abuse and so forth, here they treat me that me here refers to himself, the Nishinari himself. But for we as a follower of such uh, tradition, one should um, one should think that the, the me, that the reference of the me should be oneself. And so one should always take up on you know, your oneself, the defeat, and try one's best to offer a victory to others. Then, all of that depends on what the watch or country can change the medicine idea now, change it on what I should say. And then, so to the vision of the top of dog, eh, sending yellow pepper, pepper, or the lower jaws at the percentage, yeah, keep on number the injury, watch our country get, and then two pair, guys, and it sent the movie with no patch and your social bed, no papa, no suit juice on it, no patch and a yaw, and then no patch and a drop matter watch in it, and then. ギリシャにいる時にバラパンタゲリスラパンタゲリスとかあれですなあのセンジャトマキでてんてとなラゲンとてんとロドチタンシュセンシェバイデセロワラゲンとてんとロドチタンシュセンシェバイデセロワラ
So for seven refugees, in Europe, may I offer benefit and joy to all of the all my mothers who are directly in England. May I quietly, may I secretly, in other words, it's in the here it says quietly, but there's a difference between the quietly and secretly. So I would rather say secretly. May I secretly take up on myself all hearts and pains of my mothers. <clears throat> so. Uh, this verse actually suggests the importance of engaging in practice of Shakhtar, which is the giving and uh, giving and receiving, or giving and taking. Sometimes it is also translated as the giving and taking. So, giving and taking practice is a very effective, you know, for the instruction that is given in. The abbreviated stages of the path in the Lama Shabha, where it's stated that the venerable guru, the compassionate venerable guru, please bless me to be able to take all the suffering of other sentient beings upon myself right now, and wrapping up on me all this negative, negative and sufferings, right, right, sufferings of all other beings, wrapping, wrapping up on me right now. May all the happiness and joyful experience that I may have, may I extend and you know um, offer all of my you know um, positive thoughts and happiness and so forth to all other such beings. May all beings uh, become happy and enjoy uh, the joyful, joyful life and so on. So many experience uh, have experience of joyful joyfulness. So, which this is such a very, uh, very effective instructions that if you look at it. So it, it uh, we suggest that how do we actually engage in the practice of founding or the giving and receiving. So giving and receiving uh, involves our visualizations of the seven breath, you know, the respirations. <coughs> uh, 
here when you are engaging in such practice, it's a very effective practice is to, when you are uh, imagining that taking all the sufferings of sentient beings upon yourself, this can be done in conjunction with, you know, breathing in. When you are breathing in, imagining that all the sufferings of sentient beings are bring forth in the form of dark light, in other words. It's, it's, it wouldn't say dark, that is a dark skin that enters through the uh, through the uh, left nostril and absorb into yourself, which at which that time you are imagining that taking upon all the sufferings of other sentient beings upon yourself. And then when you exhale, you are exhaling through your right nostril and in the form of white and bright lights, which is imagining, which along with that we should meditate or imagine or contemplate, giving all the joyful experiences, the virtuous experiences, the meritorious experiences that you have, giving to all other sense of beings. May all beings have happiness and uh, the cause of happiness and so on. So this is what is uh, what we find here in this uh, the third line, may I secretly take up in myself, you know, for, is the practice, referring to the practice of giving and receiving. Da, the dog got a chigi, the two bit, the main mabaki, chimney, the baki, the two came in to my little shows. Now, come at it. And then the dog got a eating chigi again, eating chigi, the wa, the two ne, the many, the many, eh? Oh, the dog, the other, the mother, and then do second, eating, eating chigi, the two be. え、てめまばばけね、せて。だだけじゃん。え、ギテチギとトピテメマババケね。ちょ、ちょ、ちょ考えて、てな。ジョマタバセグ、あと。ジョマケンセルバタニゲニルゲリ。あ、あと、だけ
ieri, lo stesso rari, e quando ho detto che è un rari, e la nostra gente è rari, e se è un 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 Chiunque ti ama, 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 Santoni, io conosco il mio marito. E non è che mi dice che è stato fatto. E non è che mi dice che è stato fatto. E non è che mi dice che è stato fatto. E non è che mi dice che è stato fatto. E non è che mi dice che è stato fatto. E non è che mi dice che è stato fatto. E non è che mi dice che è stato fatto. E Quelli in dei seona, quelli de amaracere, vete, amarate, quelli maro, amarate, quelli di due. Mi dà sani quelli di due. Ti è da tenere due de. Mi dà una riesa. Mi dà patta, tomato di oma riesa. E ne io conosco di due oma riesa. Mi dà patta, mi dà meni, ma non so, non è che ne. Mi dà sono tieni, due se sono tombi veri. E ne pigli, non c'è un gol, non c'è due di due tensi, se hanno tenete. Oh, te la rivedi, ma te ne dici, 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 te ma io ho fatto un'altra cosa, 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 ma io ho And do the two song yarn of a do the reese. So the last verse here reads We all this remains undefiled by the stains of the eight million concerns. And we are recognizing all things as illusion, devoid of thinking, perilous and modish. So here, the first two lines are suggesting that the practice that we mentioned earlier, the above practices, should not be defiled by our eight worldly concerns. The eight mundane concerns. What eight mundane concerns are the attitude that tend to dominate our life generally. So the eight worldly concerns uh, becoming elated when someone prays you and depressed when insult or belated or happy when successes and un become unhappy when you are not successful. Or in other words, the gain, loss, fame, infamy, praise, you know, disgrace, pleasure, and misery. All of those are what we call the eight mundane concerns. So therefore the above mentioned practices must not be defined by those eight mundane, mundane concerns. That's something that is very important. This is the, the first two lines. And the next two lines it says, may I recognize all things as illusion, which is a very important point here. It's something that everything that that things that appear to us should be recognized as, in, as, as illusions. Why it is so? Just think about the magicians who can cure this magic. By their magic, that, uh, the magi magicians actually, uh, by their 
mantras and then substances. They can turn or they transform, not actually transforming, but they actually, uh, you know, uh, make those certain objects such as piece of stones into the elephants and some other form of, form of animals. Although for us as a spectator, we have no idea how it is coming into being, but we believe that the real animal is right there. We're not being able to project them as some, well, we're not being able to uh, perceive them as an illusion. Rather, we have a complete, you know, understanding of as it is, in other words. But however, when it's in the standpoint of the magician, him or herself, it is like an, it is, it is an illusion. Your, although it appears as a real animal to him or herself, but in reality, he has a proper understanding of those are not the animal that it appears to itself. So this is what is meant by here, recognize all things as illusions. Now, by doing, by, you know, to further explain, let's think about another example of everything that is an illusion that doesn't exist in other doesn't exist in and of itself independently or objectively or substantially let's think about let's start take a you know example of this side and that side so this side and that side can be perceived based on our own projection we used to what, uh, what kind of you know direction, which direction that you are actually staying, or you are actually being yourself. If you are being this side, and then suddenly that side, you will be pointing at the other side and saying that's the that side. But if you go to that side, then that side becomes this side, and then the previously you uh, you consider that this side will become that side. So how do those you know uh, that side and this side? is actually um, coming into being, is mere imputed by one's own terms and concepts. There's no other than mere name and concept, uh, imputed by mere name and concept, labeled by mere name and concept. Because there is no such that side exists independently or objectively or substantially. Similarly, there is no such this side exists independently and substantially. So this is all Construct of one's own mind, construct of one's own mind. So, so in this, this indicates that everything that exists is exists by depending on other factors. There is no such that exists without depending on other factors. There is no such that exists in and of by itself. There is no such thing that exists intrinsically or inherently. That is what it indicates here. And then also think about ourselves when we talk about me and others, or self and others. Now, how can we say that self and I, self and others are, exist independently? If your point of view, you say that you are a self, and then you point at others as others to other beings. Again, on others, individuals' point of view, you become others, and he becomes him or herself, becoming me or self. So this indicates there is no such concrete existence that self or others, self and others. It is all depends upon the uh, construction of one's mind. It is all depends upon how we impute. And all those coming into being existence, mere imputation of thoughts and concepts, or the, uh, thoughts and, uh, and, and, uh, and term. So, and then also uh, think about the little child uh, um, you know, who was born and uh, lived as a woman. Uh, and such individual is identified by his or her hand as a kulen. The kulen was not independently as because the kulen was not a kulen when he or she was in one place or his or her mother's womb. The kulen is imputed after a given birth by the mom. And that is how the individual is identified by the name of kulen. Imputed name upon the individual after the birth. However, such an individual was existed before the imputation of that mind, without by the name, it has existed within his or her mom's home. 
So this is how we should understand how things are dependent existence, not independent existence, not objective existence. So this can be understood on the basis of uh, studying all those, uh, you know, uh, lot, um, you know, reasonings, the reasonings of, uh, of uh, one or one or many, the reasonings of independent originations. ตาเตยจิโตลุญุสิเกมะเกเนชิจิโตดูนโดบิจิปิทาวัยบิกิชานิเตยจิโตลุญุสิเกมะเกเนมะชุสะเตเนยลีรุมบิชโกกุมะต
Oh, 